Hello and welcome to Cinemania. My name is Ellis Charles Hoffmeister and this Tuesday, May 30th, I'm going to talk about two films that I watched in the last week uh, or last couple of days, whatever it is. Um, I watched Jerry and Marge Go Large, which is streaming currently on Paramount Plus, along with 80 for Brady, which is also streaming on Paramount Plus. Um, I would say that this week I picked two films that are more for the older set, so interspersed with all the violent, scary horror movies that I typically watch. I watched two films about older people trying to regain some of the vitality of life. I guess that was the theme of it. Um, or just, I watched Jerry and March go large because it was on Paramount Plus and then 80 for Brady rolled right in and I'd been meaning to watch it. And yes, I did cry in 80 for Brady. <laughs> twice. I also cried in Jerry and Marge Go Large because I'm a big softie and I have what I like to call um, film daddy issues where if there's a scene in a film that is basically like between a father and a child and it is and they have a fraught relationship I just start crying. It like gets me every time. Um, or <laughs> apparently when Lily Tomlin <laughs> has to give a very impassioned speech to Tom Brady and Tom Brady stares like this. God love you, Tom Brady. You are so hot. But, you know, personally, I'm more of a Gronkowski person. I, I don't even know what to feel when I even think about that man. Anyway, um, so Jerry and Marge go large stars Annette Benning and, um, Brian Cranston, of course as a couple that are, find a loophole in the lottery, and then basically he he's really into math, and he's just retired, and they decide to basically win a bunch of money through the lottery through this loophole, and kind of what ensues. It's somewhat based on a true story that occurred in 2003. Um, it's directed by David Frankel, the uh, director, or Dave Frankel, can't remember which one, I'll have to look that up who directed The Devil Wears Prada, Marley Me. I found out won an Oscar for his short film called Dear Diary back in the day. Um, of course, Annette Benning nominated for four Oscars, Brian Cranston for one for Trumbo. She should have won for our, um, American Beauty, let's be real. I, I can't think of her without thinking of her character in that film. Um, but I would recommend it. I thought Jerry and Marge go large. It's a, it's a sweet film. These are both films that are, you know, typically I watch very violent, scary horror films, and these are both films that I feel like your parents would love, or maybe even your parents' parents, because, you know, they have... And here's the thing about both of these films. I would not say either one is necessarily great, but both of them are bolstered by great actors, um, and so they lift the material, and neither one of them is bad. Um, not that, you know, a bad movie would ever stop me. A lot of films that are rotten on Rotten Tomatoes are some of my favorite ones. So it's all subjective. So who gives a shit? So when I say bad, that could mean anything. Um, and I would say Jerry and Marge Go Large, I'd give it, I'd probably give it three out of five <sighs> emotional fishing reference scene or Larry Wilmore in a car that is expensive and looks like a midlife crisis car. So there's that. 80 for Brady is delightful. Um, it stars, you know, Jane Fonda, Lily Tomlin, Sally Field, Rita Moreno. The only one of those who has not won an Oscar is Lily Tomlin, and she doesn't even have an honorary Oscar, which if she gets an honorary Oscar, she would technically be an EGOT, which I'm like, let's, let's make that happen. Um, and I would recommend it. I think 80 for Brady is hilarious, and in its cheeseball corny moments, which are every scene referencing Tom Brady, which is most of the film, um, which, you know, love you, Tom, but, uh, the, the, there are some scenes in this film. <laughs> Harry Hamlin shows up, Billy Porter's there, um, it, it's just charming. It's, it's charming in a way that a lot of films are not charming, um, and I really enjoyed it, and, um, like I said, I cried, so, uh, I would give, I would give 80 for Brady, four missing Tom Brady jerseys out of five. Okay, we'll just go with that. Um, they're both delightful. If you haven't seen Trumbo, I would highly recommend that, or Youth. Um, Trumbo has Brian Cranston. Youth has Jane Fonda. 
um, the Paolo Sorrentino film, which I would highly recommend if you didn't, haven't seen it, because that was supposed to be Jane Fonda's um, last Oscar, which her last Oscar nomination was for The Morning After, which, if you've never seen, is a great Jane Fonda performance. So, The Morning After. I'll recommend The Morning After. Whatever. Any of those. Love you. Bye.